Okay, so uh, we're here with Sean Smith today, our guitar tech for orangutanwheelbarrow.com. Hello, Sean. Hi, right, mate. You're uh, going to give us a rig rundown today. Apparently so. Okay, so What's looks like we've mean? caught you in the act. Very naughty. Very naughty. Um, should we go through your guitars first, Sean? What are, you, what are you using these days? Well, this is an Ibanez S series with Dimarzio pickups being Air Rock and something else. You know, it's a long time ago when I got these put in. Um, got DR green strings on it that really need pretty stringing as well because I've done that for five months. Wow. Yeah. Mine wouldn't last that long, that's for sure. I'll make mine last. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what she said. That's what I'm um, So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Floyd Rose, which I've also broke playing live. So oh, I need to no. fix that as well, so at the moment I'll be using... Too much whammy, Sean. Too much, too much whammy. whammy. So, at the moment I'm going to be using... So, is that your main guitar when playing with the Outlaws? This one is, yeah. Wow. Uh, so, I'm going to be using this one for the meantime while I rip this apart and fix that problem. Okay. So, I've got a Dean, Caddy X. Uh, I got that dirt cheap off a mate. Alright. Anything special about that? Or is that all stock uh, hardware and that's pickups? That's actually as it is. 11 gauge strings, nice and thick. Heavy tone. Recently changed to 11s, haven't you? Recently, yeah. You used to use 10s. Yep, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what that sounds like when uh, we play tomorrow. Okay. Um, move on to your pedal board. Ah, right. Right, so we'll go. Well, just take us through your signal chain. Okay, well, I run straight through to this poly tuner here. Okay. Which is quite nice. Mm. Tune all your strings at once, can't you? Yeah. All at once, and it's nice and bright even during the day, which is quite nice. Yeah, I got had a few in the past where you can actually see anything in the sun, and it's all nice and light. But yeah, these shine off a tree. Okay. Uh, yeah. I've got Moor Green Mile, so this is for just like a, a boost, which is quite nice, which I use in things like uh, Sweet Home Alabama and Free Falling and things like that. Okay. Uh, Zach Wild Wah. Get your wah wah. Wah wah. Wah wah is wah wah, that's as it says. Yeah. Uh, we've got this chorus ensemble, which, uh, yeah, I don't mind. That's about it, really, I don't what mind. songs do you use that <laughs> on? Um, I use it for doing some tracks with the cult. Uh, I also use it in my other bands with doing a lot of the cheesy music. Okay. Through the crowd. Cool. Um, I've got this, runs into an MXR noise clamp. Which is super helpful when I'm playing live, just to stop any unwanted feedback or natural hum coming through, like the rest of these pedals. Right. If I do get them, depending on where I'm plugged in or what I'm using, and again anything from this guitar, which you don't want to hear, you can then you can get uh, humming coming through lights and things like that, or anything that's in the oh, room wow. when you're playing live. So you don't want that either. It's interesting to know for all you budding guitarists out there. <laughs> uh, and after that, I run into this Hall of Fame. Which you can actually bank and save your own uh, reverb effect, which you can make through your phone. And you hold your phone up to your pickups, and it goes, makes a horrible noise and uh, saves it on there. That is so. very, very cool indeed. So, after that. Okay, and then we're going into. This JVM Marshall uh, was used in sound by Paul Gilbert. Wow, let's just have a look at that. Look at that. Paul Gilbert's signature, everybody. <laughs> Um, is that the 50 watt head or the 100 watt head? Uh, it's a 50. 50 watt. Uh, so I go through that straight into this Marshall half cab, and then if I'm playing on bigger stages, I use this vintage cab. It's the vintage modern cab, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Or if not, sometimes both. So. Wow. Depending well, how crazy I'm feeling. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my rig rundown so far. Okay, have you got any special settings that you'd like to tell us about on your? Not really, head. I pretty much keep everything bang in the middle, really. Let's just have a look at that across the board. Look, mid so bass, I usually keep down quite a lot lower. Right, mm. and you've got the foot pedal. Yeah, it's controlled from um, clean. Then we go from clean. Turn that off. It's a heavy one. And then it's my lead, which I've got a lot quieter through. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Say that again. 
Again. Thank you for that, Sean. Wow. Um, we're going to get a quick plug in off your um, website. Okay. Like, tell everyone about that. Uh, I've got a website uh, showing my prices on my guitar tech work, and I also teach guitar from home, or I can travel away, whichever's easiest for you, in the local area of Tavistock. So, uh, okay. Yeah. And what is the website, most importantly? Uh, it's www.sean.guitar.com. Ideal. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.